Hey guys, welcome back to another game maker tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be continuing our shooter game and we're going to be looking at the screen shake as well as exploding asteroids. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, let's work on the screen shake. Let's right click on objects, create object, and call this O shake. So, when this is created, it's going to trigger an alarm. So, we're going to click create and drag in a code block. And we're going to say alarm 0 equal to 15. So this alarm will be triggered in 15 frames. Now, how this is going to work, right? We're going to, in the step event, we are going to set random values to the views. I'll show you what I mean. So, shake the view. So every frame, it's going to generate a random random range negative 5 to 5 so this is saying set the view x to anywhere uh, from 5 negative 5 to 5 so this is just constantly shake and shake for the x value and do the same for the y value now if we just leave it like this this is gonna keep on going without any end so we want to make sure that the alarm 0 15 so in 15 frames we will then reset the view and stop the screen shake so in the view x view equals 0 view y view equals 0 and when we destroy the instance instance as well all right now that's the screen shake good rooms and you want to make sure that views are enabled. Visible when room starts. Make this 640 by 480. 640 by 480. Alright. So now we're going to go to our bullet object. And when it collides with the asteroid. We are going to. Um, wait let's see. Mm, yeah. We're going to put it here. And we're just going to say instance underscore create actually you know what we're gonna put this in the asteroid event go asteroid and click on collision with the bullet instance create sorry instance create x y or shake so when it collides with the bullet the screen shake will occur let's see how this works so far So we can move around and we shoot, bang, you can see the screen shakes a little bit. Now if you want to change like the, the duration, this is the duration and this is the shake amount. In fact what we can do, we can do make this a variable shake amount. Oops. Shake amount. Copy this and paste that like that. And here we'll just call this the duration. So we can say the duration equals to 15 and the shake amount equal to 5. Now, the reason why we do this is so it's very easy to edit. For example, if you want to give this code to someone else, they'll easily edit, uh, change it to their preferences without having to understand much code. Cool, so that's um, the screen shake. Let's just quickly test if that's working. <coughs> and sure enough, it is working. Actually, what, what we should do, right, is take this instance create a shake, delete this event, and we'll put this in the bullet collision right here. Um, put it right here. Okay, now let's try the explosion. Let's create a new object called O explode and assign this to the S explode um, sprite. If you don't have these sprites, uh, make sure to check out my first tutorial. There's a link to the um, to the downloads right there. So in the create event, we are going to drag in a code block and 
assign image speed 2.5. This is because Game Maker's default image speed is relatively high, so we want to make sure that that's not too high. It's not going to go really fast. The animation. So when animation end, we just want to destroy this object. Cool. Now in here. So we're going to create uh, the shake. Now instead of destroying the instance, we're going to go instance underscore change. Alright, I'm going to change this to O explode and true because we want to perform event after that. I'm going to just say explode asteroid. Cool. Alright, let's take a look now. Hopefully this works. Alright, so we're going to move around and we can shoot and boom, you can see it has a really nice explode animation along with the very slick screen shake. So thanks for watching guys, in the next video we're going to be looking at a HUD. Now we have this and we're going to also add a health system. Cool, so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one.